Hello folks, I'm going to do a little tutorial here just to show you how to set up so we can do some uh, MP Lab, uh, Microsoft MP Lab Harmony uh, version 3 on this board here, which is a Curiosity MZEF board version 2. Make sure you have version 2. Version 1 is uh, an old board and um, isn't really very well supported uh, nowadays. So um, if I go to my desktop here, I'll show you how to install the software. So uh, first thing we're going to need is MP Lab X, uh, which is the IDE uh, to run on this board. Uh, it's still in Windows, by the way. Um, so uh, let's go to Google. And we'll go to microchip.com. And to find this, you go to the tools and resources. I will just mention that things change, and uh, this is correct uh, as at um, September uh, 2024, the 12th of September 2024, uh, but things move around, and so I'm just going to caveat that, that this is correct as of now, but uh, the joys of modern software is such that uh, you're always uh, digging around on the quicksand. So we'll go for the MP Lab X IDE, so there we go. And we'll download it. Scroll down, MP Lab X IDE download. Okie dokes, save it into my downloads folder. It's downloaded, but now it's just checking that the um, uh, uh, download that I've done is actually uh, okay to run on this machine. So uh, there we go. Open the folder. And there it is. So I'm going to uh, run the install by double clicking on it. There we go. And we'll go through the wizard, accept the agreement. Don't want to let Microchip know anything about me. And uh, we don't need the IPE for what we're going to do now. Uh, that's if you want to do. Uh, sort of production programming um, you can use it just for odd uh, bits of programming but in general we'll do everything from the MP Lab X IDE MP Lab IPE is just a separate application and we're going to be doing this for 32 bit applications only so I'm going to only have the 32 bit MCUs uh, selected you can select all of these if you like it just takes a little bit longer to install and uh, there we go we'll do the next now you can speed this up little bit if you're uh, brave and uh, we can uh, turn off real-time protection uh, while we're doing this install and this marginally speeds things up So we need to install some drivers as well. And you know, so, um, we only got the 32 bit installed as we didn't, as we said, didn't want any of the XC8 or um, XC16. XCDSC is a new is a new version of um, XC16 to, for the newest uh, DSPIC uh, microcontrollers. So let's finish there. So this is now downloading the XC32 compiler. You can do all of this separately, so you can separately download the XC32 compiler and install it as a completely separate entity. So if you didn't do it this stage, you can do it later on if you want. And when you start the IDE up, it'll uh, detect or should detect that you've uh, installed it. Um, additionally, you'll find that there are sometimes some additional versions that you may need. So there's a whole, uh, on the Mugchip website, there's a, a whole archive of uh, versions there. Okay, so we'll go through this. So this is the same thing you do if you installed, if you installed it completely separately. So I'm just going to select the defaults here. 
let it do its thing. Okay, so this is the MAC address of your um, uh, net, NIC network interface card, um, and this is uh, used to, to for sort of licensing. So if you have actually if you purchased a license, you can uh, make sure that the NIC is uh, allocated to your license. Um, and you, if you open up the license file, if you have one from Microchip, uh, you need to make sure that the uh, NIC is uh, is in that file. Okay, so we've done that, and let's close these things down. And we'll see here we've now got the MP Lab X icon on the desktop. So if we double click that, and the first time you go in, you're going to need to uh, accept things like that. And there's also this screen here, which if I just maximize the screen, this. Uh, will always come up and say show on startup so I recommend that you uncheck that otherwise it'll come up every time the other one that comes every time the MP Lab X store I recommend that you get rid of that as well and the other thing is there's some uh, bits up here on that I find absolutely useless so I tend to get rid of them like the how do I for example uh, and there we go. This is your empty IDE from the beginning. Now, the next thing to do is to make sure that um, we've got uh, all the updates uh, for the plugins. So if we go into Tools, Plugins, and Update, we can update all of... If we do a check for updates, Update, and then Next, Accept... And we'll let us go ahead and install all of the updates. Restart now. Okay, doke so it's restarted. Another thing you need to update um, are the device packs. Now, um, all the and the tool packs. So it's in tools packs there. Just so sorry, there we go. And um, you'll see that there's some uh, tool packs and device packs uh, potentially to install. So quick way to select them is to install pack updates and this takes a little bit of time to do but it saves you time later on okay so that's now um, installed the pack it's all pack updates um, you see there are also some device family packs uh, here um, you may or may not want to install these. These can generally come up, and you can see the new ones here. So this is the new 32-bit uh, DS Picks, which doesn't apply to us. And there we go. Some uh, new Pick 32 um, C series uh, device packs. There's a Pick 32 CZ device pack. I pick another one here. So. Generally, as long as these don't really apply to us, uh, I wouldn't worry too much. So the next thing to do um, is just check in this little balloon, see if there's anything else here. It just says um, they've got these uh, new devices, which I think we've already done. So I think I'm happy with that. So let's create a new project. Um, so that'll be in the next video. So thanks for watching this one. We're ready to go for the next um, installment and uh, thanks for watching